Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to make a checkered, a checkered pattern board using walnut and red oak. This is cherry and maple, but I'm just I'm gonna make one out of walnut and red oak, just like this. Okay, so I've got my walnut and I've got my red oak here. You can use whatever you want, as long as it's a different color, different two different types of wood. So I've got some scrap boards here. I still have to cut them to size, and I've got to cut this one. So for our walnut, we're gonna need a two and one fourth board width, and we're gonna need a three fourths and we're gonna need one three-fourths and one and a quarter. And same thing for the red oak. We're gonna use the same, same, same dimensions. Okay, now we're gonna cut our boards on the table saw to those dimensions that I shown earlier. Sorry. Okay, now that we ran all our boards to the table saw, it, it should look something like this, where we have two different colors of the same two and one fourth measurement for the width, and we got one and three fourths, two boards, and we got one and one fourth, two boards, and we got three quarters. Let's see. Two and one fourth. One and three fourths. One and one fourth. And three fourths. Okay now, this is how we're gonna lay it out. We're gonna have our two and one fourth board. Next, we're gonna put our, our three fourths board, just like that. And then we're gonna put our, our one and three fourths board. Then we're gonna put our one and one fourth board. As you can see, I'm doing a different color each each board. And then same same board. One and one fourth, same as this one. And then we're gonna put our our one and three fourths board. So it's the same as this one. And then we're gonna put our three fourths board. So it's the same. And then we're gonna put our 
last one, our big boy, two and one fourth board. So it will just like that. It looks like a same pattern on the side, just different color. And we're gonna glue them up. Okay, now that we have it all clamped up, we're gonna wait till tomorrow and we'll plane it down. So you can see I got it nice and tight where the glue is squeezing out where you want it. So we just have to play the waiting game now. Okay, our board's all dried. We waited a day. You can see the glue all hardened on here, but that's okay because we're gonna go, we're gonna plane it down now. Okay, now that we ran our board through the planer, we're gonna make our cuts. I'm gonna go two, two inch cuts. So it's gonna be this, but right here. And I'm gonna keep cutting until I'm all the way to the end. Okay, sorry I didn't film, I didn't film while I was cutting the boards, but I ran them all through. And this is what I've got. So we're going to glue these up and clamp them down. Okay, now I got my old boards all laid up. So I'm just gonna have to put glue on these. And I'll put them all down. And I'll clamp it all together. Okay, I have it all clamped up. And you can see the glue squeezed out is what you want. And now we just have to wait, we'll wait a day, and we'll plane it down tomorrow. All right, so now we're gonna plane our board down, get the glue spots off, make it flat. Okay, now we're gonna cut the ends off to make it square. So we're just gonna move our fence all the way to the blade so we can make a square cut, straight cut. There. And we'll run it through. Okay, now we're gonna run our we're gonna run our board through the cable router. Make sure you practice on scrap wood before you do the the real deal, because if you screw up once, you're you're SOL. So make sure you try scrap wood like pine, some cheap. All right, I'm gonna run this through now. I think I have it set up.
All right, now I'm, I'm gonna be using some butcher block mineral oil. You can find this at Menards. And I'm warming it up a little bit so it soaks in the grain. 